It's been a month where we've celebrated the achievements of superstars like Beauty Generation and Mr Stunning, but we've also had to farewell another. Here's what's coming up on this edition of HK Direct. And due to injury, Werther was retired earlier this month. We're going to be reflecting on his career on the show today. Werther retires as the winner of nearly $59 million in prize money and as the winner of big races like the Hong Kong Derby, the QE2 Cup, the Hong Kong Gold Cup and the Champions and Chater Cup. Here's our tribute to a true star of Hong Kong racing. But it's the Hong Kong Derby winner, Werther, absolutely destroying them here in the Audemars Piguet QE2 Cup. Magnificent Werther. Werther was, he's definitely right up there with one of the best horses I've ridden. Werther was a very courageous horse and he really liked a fast pace. And when he got fast pace and a little bit of moisture in the ground, uh, that's when you saw him at his best. I always remember he walked into the stable and I was standing there with my wife as he walked into the stable and she said, who bought this? And I said, Harry bought it. And he said, she said, come on. She said, we've got a lot of work to do to get some condition on this fellow. And, and we did and, and, and follows exactly the, all the races that he won uh, to Horse of the Year, consistent. First up with uh, Hugh Bowman, you remember the race? Were they going up to join Travel First? Behind them, Apollo's Choice. Deeper out, Victory Magic Ishbara. But were the race to the lead from Travel First? Then Apollo's Choice. Late on the scene, Victory Magic. But this expensive import, Werther, will win on debut. From that, that particular race, I said, we've got a horse on our hands here. And he's gone on to do exactly what you said, um, winning everything. Um, that we wanted to win and, um, and, and, and horse of the year. When we speak of those big wins that he had, is there a standout moment for you when you look back on that time? Oh, it's got to be the derby. It's Werther and Victory Magic, eye for eye, shoulder to shoulder, a tremendous battle. Werther coming out on top from Victory Magic and Werther, it's a sweet taste of victory in the derby. For me, his standout performance was when he beat uh, a really good field in the Queen Elizabeth. In fact, he won convincingly, and I thought it was by far his best performance. And what about Japan, John? That must have been a bit of a thrill to, for him to go so well over there. Well, it, it was. Um, you know, he, he lost a lot of weight with, with the trip and everything. Werther issuing out the challenge. Mickey Rocket. Werther is straining up to it. Mickey Rocket. Werther. Mickey Rocket. They hit it. Mickey Rocket wins from Werther. Well, I actually thought we were going to win at the 200 metre mark, but he couldn't quite get there. But uh, he, he ran very well and I think it really shows that the Hong Kong horses, if they're prepared for this race, uh, could really do well. That's the toughness of Werther. He, he had a hell of a wide weight range that he could win out of um, and he just did that. And only the gate cost him when you came back. He said that the only thing that cost us this race was drawing gate 13. That fellow was as tough as goes and he's and when you look back on your career in general, you've had so many great horses in your time here in Hong Kong. Where is Werther in the mix? He was very, very good. I'm sure he would have been able to compete with Viva Bataka and, uh, and Collection and, um, uh, you know, horses that went over ground as against um, um, Beauty Generation and uh, Able Friend. Um, but um, there will always be a soft spot in my heart for him when I, I do pack up here in Hong Kong and, uh, and then, as I said, rerun videos and reflect back on the great days of Werther. I'll certainly miss riding Werther, uh, but I'm very grateful of what he did for me. He was so well managed by John Moore and we saw the best of him over a few seasons. Uh, towards the end, he had a few problems which started to creep in uh, to, to his performances. Uh, but nevertheless, he always tried his very hardest and he is a wonderful horse. Yes, we certainly wish Werther all the very best in his retirement. Let's have a look at what's coming up this weekend here in Hong Kong. It's the final race meeting for 2018. And the trophy race is the Sha Tin Race Course 40th Anniversary Cup. That's race five. We've also got a really good class two race to look forward to featuring Four-year-old series candidates, Super Rich and Mr. So-and-so. That's the final event on the program. Ten races, trackside live coverage gets underway at 12.30. And you 
to go to the website and to Twitter for more information. But that's it from us here on HK Direct. Thank you for joining us. Join us for a special edition of the show on Sunday when we'll be looking back at the memorable moments for 2018. But until then, it's goodbye.